And even though he gets to have his freedom, I really stress him out because I got to go in and net him, basically tackle him, and then stuff him in a carrier. That is really stressful, even if you're a bald eagle. Very, very, very stressful. Then he's got to travel 40 minutes into a car, and then he's going to be exposed to people. And that's why we want you behind the carrier, because when I open the carrier, oh, and, and I will not be grabbing him and throwing him up in the air Hollywood style and <laughs> saying, be free. That is stressful. The things that I had to do to him is stressful. So even though we'll swing the cage door, the carrier door open, his eyes and his brain is going to be going a thousand miles a minute. We are orienting him towards what we would think from an eagle standpoint, good perches, suitable perches, okay? However, I'm not an eagle, can't think like an eagle. He might not utilize them at all. Kids, I need you to be quiet. You're going to get to see a bald eagle go, okay? But you got to be quiet, okay? You don't want to scare them. This bird, as Greg said, was hit by a tractor trailer and has lived to tell about it. We're releasing him today because he can self-feed and he can do things in a cage, okay? There's no reason for me to hold him any longer. And the concern is re-injuring himself in a cage. So he can fly in a cage. So we're assuming that he is ready to go.